It will be Joey McKenna, two-time All-American, once at Stanford, before he transferred to Ohio State. And this guy's got it going. Won a U.S. Open last spring in freestyle and uh, just has been nothing but fantastic for the Buckeyes. Healing Store transferred from Iowa State after a couple of years there, but he's a Michigan boy, and he's back in his state, and they're glad he's back. Yeah, they are glad he's back. He's done a great job here for him, settling in that 141-pound weight class where he and Profasi, I think, were battling there for a while. So you mentioned Joe McKenna and the job that he's done and, and uh, you know, settled right in really naturally with this Ohio State program, taking on, a, you know, you had to sit there and go, hey, who's, who's one of the top leaders in the program here? You have to point to Joey McKenna, and, and that's difficult for a transfer to do. And he spent, you know, a few years in the, in the uh, Stanford program, but to come over of a program like this who's had who has had successful people, right, jumps right in on a beautiful double leg shot right there. Wow. He just lowered his level, went straight to the center, head in the middle, then slid off for the takedown for two. And what makes him very capable of winning a national title is that he's solid in all positions, and particularly this top position. And Kanan Storr, who's had a lot of success at the international level, is just different going against one of these seniors. He's get the two count at least. There's four. There he's got the yeah. four. What yeah. a big first 50 seconds for Joy McKenna out front now. 6-0. Ohio State gets their big start for the meet here at 141. Yeah, that's the type of excitement here to get the crowd back into it. Take a look at that straight on freight train double. And this look how active his lower body was to get that scoop on the leg there and then goes right into that side tilt. Can it really tough? I think he controls the hips as well as anybody in the country. You know, I'll talk a little bit about this is a little bit of a parallel ride, but the reason why you don't want to just push back up and do a push up on him is he'll go tight waist. And once he, if he has just one arm around you, he's capable of taking you back. Got a little aggressive there. Going gave for up the, the big reversal. one. Yeah. yeah, gave up the reversal to store, and it's a seven, two, three. But if you're thinking about bonus two. points and thinking about the team, that's exactly what you do. You get aggressive. If you get high, it works. You get the points. If not, get that quick escape and a slide by, and you're back in business. What I noticed, there's two points. Takedown for McKenna. What I noticed about McKenna and his development, he's a guy that when he was winning early in his career was winning more uh, close matches. Man, he has put a spread between he and his most of his opponents. Winning a lot of major decisions this year. A couple of pins in there, and uh, when they weren't major decisions, there was a good spread of four, five, and six points. Well, he's a wrestling Storm. young man. He's done pretty well at the international level. He's got stored, had, I think it, it finished third in the, uh, in the trials or something. Yeah, one, one of the, he's got a what I'm saying is that this isn't just an average guy here. Kanan Storr is a pretty solid freshman. And like all freshmen, he's going to have a difficult time in that top position, particularly bottom position, if you give him that, uh, that, that, that look right there. Storr is sophomore with the transfer. Freshman last year at Iowa State. He's got that side tilt one more time. Clearly got the angle. Really got him. Looking forward to the pin there real close. Uh, Looked like he had it there for a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a three quarters of a second, not the full second. Now he's committing to it one more time. Got the hips loaded up. Storr's got to hit the bridge because he's got to keep those shoulders off the mat. All right, let go of the move, and it's four points. At the end of that first period, 13 to 2. 11 point lead, and Coach Tom Ryan likes that. Jay Jaggers right next to him, the two time NCAA champion. Along with Tom Ryan, his 13th season. What a job he's done and brought an NCAA championship. And what comes with success are great new facilities. And you have taken a tour of the tremendous new wrestling facility uh, that they're going to open in 90 days, Jim. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's, 
It's unbelievable the, the commitment that uh, Gene Smith and uh, the athletic donors here at, at Ohio State have put into the sport of wrestling, but Ball why wouldn't fingers. you when you have the type of people Good leading throw. it and uh, the, the athletes Good that are coming through this and having this type of success? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's, it's the best facility I've seen, and I've seen a, a few really nice ones, and, and uh, it's just wonderful to see our sport kind of moving to the next level as far as facilities go. Kane score finds himself in a 14-2 Hole, and he has had a tremendous year so far. His only losses, an overtime loss to Ironman from Missouri and a one-point loss to Mike Carr from Illinois. Otherwise, this guy has had a run of wins. He was a three-time state champion in his home state of Michigan. As we said, spent a couple of years at Iowa State, transferred, and been a great addition. But right now, he's got his work cut out for me because Joey McKenna is on fire. Yeah, you get that. McKenna gets that when he gets a full seven minutes to work on you know, with that quick takedown. He really puts a lot of pressure. And that just slowed down a little bit. I think to some degree, maybe waiting for a uh, shot, but he decides to follow it up. Beautiful high crotch on the left handed high crotch coming back through. And Stort did a nice job of really getting neutral in that position. So yeah, you see some of his skills. Cut that corner really nice because McKenna had him cracked down. And, uh, again, Storr having a tremendous year. Right now, though, he just had a horrendous first period. And credit goes to McKenna's activity execution of a couple of four-point near falls. There, a nice little double leg. You know, wow. You know... You were able to get into the high crotch so easily. If you can get into that high crotch, you know, just go for the double. You know, there's no reason going for one leg if you can get to both legs just as easy. 14-point lead for Joy McKenna. Today's State Farm state of success is Michigan. There's the head coach. They have conquered Columbus. They have had a very good run in Columbus. in a 32-11 all-time versus Ohio State here. And... Right now, they're out in front. They are our state farm, state of success, the Michigan Wolverines. Uh, Sean Bormet a little upset there. Can't tell whether he's upset at the official or the uh, his athlete for his, his suggestion was to go neutral. You saw the, the and I think that the uh, that Stewart chose the, the down position. Whatever that decision was, I don't think the referee was going to let him out of that choice. So, and that puts Store in a tough situation because he's already given up a lot of back points. Here's the escape, though. Kenna thinks he can finish this on his feet. A take down away. McKenna is from a technical fall. And, you know, Jim, we are seeing a couple of guys. Michich against All-American Fletcher, and now McKenna against a very tough store. These are two guys that they have their eyes on the top of the podium, and that's it. Michich and McKenna. No doubt. Crack down again that position we saw before, Tim. Does McKenna have enough real estate there? Now he's going to work it back over. Watch his right hand if he's able to get to the head, but you see where Storer, boy, rolled him back on his hip there. Very nice finish. Wow. Wow. I'm excited, Joy McKenna. He should be. That's leadership. What a performance. Joy McKenna, winner by technical fall. Five points on the board for the Buckeyes. And now, all of a sudden, it's seven to five. Michigan still ahead. But Ohio State, a big technical fall at 141.